So we're looking at 1.6, and this is a score. It's a weighted average. Uh, nowhere in here does it say weighted average, so it's a little bit tricky. Uh, we're going to take 80% average, meaning that's the class score so far on everything, except the final exam hasn't happened yet. So the final exam includes everything, or that score, meaning that 80% is everything but the final. Uh, and then this right here, the final accounts for 25% of the course grade. So let's go ahead and see what we can write down for this. So first of all, 80% course average, so I have that written down. And then we have the final exam, don't know the score, so I just put unknown percent on the final exam score. But we do know it counts for 25% of the class grade. So now we can write down how much does the rest of the class count for? So if you just see 25%, you probably intuitively know what percent goes here. But just in case, that's not obvious. So we're going to get the two percents added together. So both percents add to 100%. And so one way, uh, I'll just call this x percent right here. So I could go x percent plus 25 percent equals 100 percent. And from here, you just subtract the 25 percent from both sides. So we got 100 percent minus 25 percent. And we get 75 percent. Some of these percents you can probably just do in your head without writing all this down. That's fine too. So this x percent is 75. All right. We still don't know what uh, our friend can get on the final, but we can already start constructing an uh, equation here. So I'm going to put another letter in here, and let's go. Let's go with y a Y percent on the final exam. So we have a weighted average. So normally in an average, you have one half times value one plus one half times value two. And you add those two together, take half of each, add them together, and you get the number that's in between those two values. We're going to do the same thing in a weighted average, except in a regular average, they both count for half. In a weighted average, they don't necessarily each count for half. So that's what's going to change in a weighted average. So we have our weight percentage times our value, value 1, plus other weight percentage times value two. And let's go ahead, I just wrote down the uh, course average first as 80%. So our value one, this is gonna be a little weird because it's 80% here. They're both gonna be percents. How much does the course count? The course counts for 75%. So that's how much the course, uh, the weight and the score or the value on that. Now the other weight percent, we, uh, we're given that as 25%. And the other value, we don't know. So I'm going to leave it as just y percent right here. And I need more space. So let's go ahead. We can compute some of these. Uh, but let's look best grade your friend can earn in the class? Well, I think this should be pretty clear. The best grade you can earn is by getting 100% on your final, doing as best you can on the final, which would be 100%. And let's go ahead and look at that. So best final score, y, the y percent is 100%. All right, so we're gonna plug that in for Y. The other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn all the percents into decimals. So 75% means 
0 0.75, 80% is 0 0.80, plus 25%, 0 0.25, and what is y? 100%, so that's 1.00. All right, so we're gonna multiply all these out, and this is the best score in the class. So it's the best possible score. You do need to multiply all those out. They also want it in a percentage. So what you're gonna get is probably something like, I don't know, 70, 60, that's probably a little higher than that. But let's say you get like 85. The actual value they want is gonna be as a percentage, not as a decimal. So just be aware of that. You're gonna get the decimal. You gotta turn it back into a percent. Now, <clears throat> what we're gonna do is part B minimum score would need to get a 75% in the course. All right, so what's that minimal score? This one's a little bit more tricky because we need to score a 75% in the class. So that means not the best score, but the actual score is 75% and that's gonna to equal to, and on this second part, we don't know the final exam score. So I'm gonna leave that as just that Y percentage. And we'll go, I'll write them all in the percentages first, and then I'll turn them into decimals. So there we go. We still have that Y percent, we don't know what that is yet. So now we'll turn all these into decimals, 0 0.75, 0 0.80, plus 0.25 times Y percent. And we have 0.75 here. Okay, so without breaking out a calculator here, I'll just go ahead, I want to, get this out of here to the other side. So we're gonna subtract that over. And actually I will get out a calculator, but I'll use it on the other, the other screen. All right, so we got 0.75 times 0.8 is 0.6 plus 0.25y equals 0.75. All right, so we're gonna to try to get Y by itself. So Y has two friends. It's got a 0.25 friend and a 0.6 friend. And first thing you're gonna do, just remember order of operations goes upwards right here when you're doing algebra. So we're gonna get rid of addition subtraction first. So I'm gonna unadd this 0.6, meaning I'm gonna subtract 0.6 from both sides. So that subtracts to zero. And we're just left with 0.25y. And on the left side, I can line this up a little better. Subtracting 0.6, you could write it as 0 0.60. So five minus zero is five, seven minus six is one. We're almost there, all we have to do is get the 0.25 out of here. So we're gonna divide by 0.25, both sides. And that is 0.15 divided by 0.25, and that's 0 0.6. All right, they want a percentage though, so don't write 0 0.6, that is 60% on the final exam to get that, uh, whatever that score was, 75% in the class.